Good evening. Administration, board members, faculty, family, and friends. I'm here tonight to talk to you about gratitude. Actually, I'm here because of all of you. Each of you sitting before me in your own unique and special way has assisted in bringing me where I am today. Although you play varying roles, you all share a common thread. You all support the mission of New England Baptist Hospital. I appreciate the opportunity to express how I feel about the Baptist, especially my orthopedic spinal surgeon, Dr. Frank Rand, and the entire team that cared for me last year, as well as my mother and my sister, who are here tonight and are an important part of my story. I was diagnosed with scoliosis by Dr. Rand when I was 26 years old. For those of you who are unfamiliar with scoliosis, my spine had taken on an abnormal deformed shape, similar to an S. In addition, I had three herniated discs, sciatic pain from congenital stenosis, and numbness in my right foot. At the time, I was running road races, winding down my figure skating, and working as a nurse and preparing to enter graduate school. Surgical correction for scoliosis is more than simple major surgery. It's a combination of extensive spine fusion and highly complex reconstruction. My two surgeries combined were more than 20 hours long, performed by Dr. Rand about two weeks apart, each roughly 10 hours in length. The rehabilitation is long, and it's difficult. I was unable to work for a year. I have to mention the nursing staff. I'm a nurse practitioner at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, and I can tell you the level and skill and excellence of the Baptist nursing is truly amazing. My nurses were completely in tune with what I needed I've always understood the meaning of the Baptist way, but in early 2009, when I needed it the most, I experienced it. Today, I am happy, I am healthy and active. I'm working full time. I am truly grateful for every day that I am given. Because of the experience of which I've described to you this evening, I now want to serve as a role model for others who face what I have been through. It's time. It's time for me to give back to an amazing community that has given me so much. I have always known it is our jobs as, individual, as individuals to live each day to the fullest. That includes days when all I could do was sit on my bed and feel the sun on my face. On other days, when I could lace up my shoes for a one mile run, I found out the most important thing is to surround yourself by people who love and support you. People who will celebrate the highs and be there during the lows and truly, truly thankful that you are alive. Thank you.